Maya LT now features Maya Embedded Language, or MEL, support. MEL provides a comprehensive scripting API to manipulate the assets in a scene in a variety of ways. Most of the tools found throughout the Maya GUI can be recreated in MEL, allowing artists to create scripts to handle repetitive tasks using precise settings. Now, there are a number of ways to access the MEL script editing tool. First of all, you can go to Window, General Editors, and then Script Editor. However, you can also very quickly access the script editor using this little icon at the very bottom right of Maya LT. And that will bring up the script editing window. Let's have a look at the window and, and walk through the various buttons in the toolbar. So first of all, you have a history window. And this is where you're going to see all of the output of Maya commands. So for instance, if I were to grab this crate here, you can see right away in the history it uh, has shown the select command there. Below that you're going to find the input windows and this is a tabbed area and we have our first tab here. We can add a new tab simply by right clicking and choose new tab. Likewise I can delete this tab by once again right clicking delete current tab. I can also using the tool buttons up here I can erase the history window. I can also erase the input window with the second one here. I can erase both of them at the same time. I can show only the history window, I can show only the actual input windows, or I can show both. I can also toggle line numbers on and off for my scripts, and then I have my execute buttons, search functionality to search through the scripts, and then I can also go to a specific line number. Now to begin entering mail script, all I have to do is click on the input window and I can go ahead and type in a command. When I type the command in, in this case select, it turns blue and italicizes it and this lets me know that that's a valid command. But what if I don't know what the command is that I want to use? What if I only have an idea of what it might be? Well this is where command hinting comes into play. If you go into the command menu and make sure command completion is checked, this will allow Maya LT to give you an idea of what command you might be looking for when you begin to type it out. So let's just say I want the move command but I don't know if it's actually called move. So I'll type MO and then I'll hold down control and press spacebar. And this is going to bring up a little window with a bunch of possibilities of what I want to enter here. And there's move highlighted for me already. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter and that will complete it for me. So one way to create simple scripts to begin with is to actually perform some actions inside of Maya and then copy those as a script into the input window. So let's go ahead and select this crate back here and then let's move it. And so we can see as we've done all of these things, it's actually entered the commands into the history window. So I'm just going to select all of that, copy it, and then paste it into the input window. Now, I'm not going to use any of these, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them. But uh, this is one way to very quickly create a script. And now if I wanted to, I could select that script and simply save it to disk using the disk icon here. And this will allow me to save this out as a MEL file. So we'll just call this select move. Now if I want to run this script all I have to do is select it and press this button here or press control enter and we can see that my crate has been moved once again. Now let's have a look at the actual mel command reference and you're going to find that under help mel command reference. Now this will bring up a web page with all of the mel commands that you're going to have access to so let's go ahead and search for move and this will bring up possibilities over on the left. Let's go ahead and click on move. And here we're going to find all the information that we need on the move command, such as flags. Now you'll notice in the flags we have an absolute and a relative flag. That's dash A and dash R. So let's jump back to my LT. And you'll see that in my command here for move I've got a dash R. Well that means it's a relative move, relative to the current position. If I were to change this to dash A, or absolute, that means it's going to move that crate to that absolute position. Whereas dash R will move it relative to its current position. So let's go ahead and clear the history here as well as the input and let's create a script that has a little more use to us. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize the script editor here. So as a more detailed example, let's uh, take this crate here and let's say we want to create 
uh, some extrusions here on some of these faces, but we want it to be uniform all the way around, and we want to be able to do the exact same extrusion on every crate in the level. Now we could do this by hand. We could go in and start extruding and just remember the settings that we're using and then go to the next crate and repeat the process. And if there's a lot of crates in our level, that's going to take a long time. This is where Maya scripting can come in really handy. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and go to our extrude tool. We're going to go into face mode on our crate and we'll just choose a couple of faces here that we want to extrude. We'll enable the extrusion tool and go ahead and perform the extrude that we want. Okay, and now that we've extruded it, we can go into our script window and we can see right here we've got our poly extrude command. So we'll just go ahead and select that, copy it and paste it. And what we want to do is we want to remove the actual specific faces in the command here because we're going to be doing this on faces that we select and we'll go ahead and remove this PVX, PVY, and PVZ. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to specify the offset and the thickness. So for the offset for the first line we're going to do 0.5. For the thickness we'll also do 0.5. Now I'm going to copy this line and then this time for offset we're going to do 0.75. Now I can select some faces over here, select my command, press control enter, and it performs the extrusion. Now if I want to be able to use this exact same extrusion over and over on the rest of the faces, I could just keep hitting control enter after I select faces, or I can actually turn this into a shelf button. So all I need to do to do that is click this little icon up here, save script to shelf, give it a name, we'll call this crate extrude and now we can see up here our crate extrude button has been added if we were to right click and choose edit under command we can see the exact commands here from our Maya script editor and so now if I select faces on my crate and press that button it runs the extrusion so now I can just go through select all the faces I want extruded and use that command shelf button and I will get the exact extrusion every time. And I can do this now on all the crates in the level very easily without trying to remember the settings or uh, having to retype everything. Likewise, this extrusion will be in my Maya LT from now on as a button. So if I wanted to load another file in, I can use that exact same extrusion on the objects in that file. Alternatively, you can create a shelf button by middle mouse clicking the commands and dragging them onto the shelf. You can delete it by right clicking and choosing delete. Finally, if I want to assign this mel script to an actual keyboard command, I can do that very easily. We'll just go to Window, Settings and Preferences, Hotkey Editor. And in here, I'm going to create a new hotkey. We're going to call this Crate Extrusion. We're going to put it in the polygons category. And then I'm going to middle mouse click drag my shelf button into the command area and hit accept. So now in the polygons category we can see our crate extrusion. Now if I want to assign a hotkey, I'll just go over here to assign new hotkey. I'm going to choose Y along with control and alt and then I'll hit assign. So we'll go ahead and hit save, close this down, minimize my script window here. I'll just go over to another crate, select the faces, and when I press Ctrl Y, it performs the extrusion. So this is only the beginning of what you can achieve with Mel scripting inside of Maya LT. You're going to be able to use it to automate a lot of repetitive tasks, as well as creating your own interfaces and making use of all of the power that Maya LT offers.